up, everybody, with another episode of Community Voices. Today, we've got a very special guest. Super excited for this one because, you know, we've always seen him on the shows, movies, and things like that. Real legend. We've got Wesley Snipes with us today. Clap it up. <laughs> Doing the wave. Okay. <laughs> B boys, we never stop. You know what I'm saying? It never leaves us. Once you've been, once you've been boogie down, it just stays in you. Stays Especially in. if you grew up during the, the, seven, the late seventies and eighties, like I did. Some people might be shocked by that. So but, uh, <laughs> cool, but yeah, let's jump right into it. So first of all, congrats on the success of True Story. You know, your latest series on Netflix. I loved it. You, Kevin Hart, amazing. So that being said, speak to just your career. And just like your growth as an actor from where you began to like now in 2022 with your latest project. Well, as an art school, a high school alumni like yourselves, a music and art, performing arts yeah. alumni, uh, you can imagine what a wonderful, eclectic experience it was to go to a school where you had so many different people representing the five boroughs and beyond. Mm -hmm. And also people who were incredibly talented, you know, at, at such a young age. Right. Couple with the fact that some of the most beautiful sisters was going to the school <laughs> back in the day. Oh my God. It made it all it made it all worthwhile taking that hour and a half trip from you know Boston Road in the Bronx and 169th, 170th Street, all the way down to 40 something street in Manhattan. Yeah. It made it all the worthwhile. So and that was a I guess you could say that was the place where they began to expand my my uh, perception of what being an artist was. Mm -hmm. uh, there were actually a couple of artists at the time when I was going to school who, who were working yeah. and they were doing everything from repertory theater to uh, the, the ballet to um, music and some of the off-Broadway and off-Broadway Broadway productions. Yeah. That was very, very inspirational. So from there, it began, you know, the search for my own expression through the art and uh, the limits of what my creativity, the limits of my creativity, yeah. And I, we started from there, yeah, you know. I actually, uh, I actually didn't finish graduating performing arts, which was kind of unfortunate, but I ended up going to a wonderful school down in Orlando, Florida, titled Jones High School. And there I met some of my best friends and we began a bus and truck version of what I was experiencing in the performing arts. Uh, we began performing out in the streets and we were doing our own productions, writing our own songs, our own scripts, our own characters, and performing it for, you know, people in the neighborhood, <laughs> literally in the park. We would come to the park, drive up in a, a, a Partridge family type of a bus and jump out the bus and pour out, pull out all of our puppets, masks, and all this kind of stuff, and tambourines and ribbons, oh, tie-dye yeah, and shorts. And instruments and all that. Oh, it was Godspell, you know, orange, orange, orange style. <laughs> it was Godspell. Yeah, man. And that's, uh, I ended up uh, continuing to pursue the, 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 the craft as a summer job, yeah. really, while I was there in Florida. And uh, it then progressed. I got the opportunity to audition for Purchase, Purchase College, which was State University of New York at the time, Purchase. Yep. And uh, one thing led to another, and I got in. Man, I mean, took off. Stayed there for four years, auditioned for Beach Street, didn't get it. Was devastated. Yeah. Stuck it out and made it through. Made it through. Uh, you, you don't even know where Beach Street is. You know, you know, you know the film Beach Street. No. That was, Beach Street was one of the first breakdancing and hip hop films ever made. Hmm. Beach Street and Wild Style. These were the first ones, and the great Harry Belafonte was producing. That mm -hmm. particular production, his wonderful daughter, my friend Gina Belafonte, was also go, uh, an alumni. Well, she was attending the school at the same time. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thought, I thought, being from the Bronx, already, you know, representing the, yep. the Bronx B-boy culture yeah. and an actor, it was a no-brainer for me. I saw it. <laughs> they didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw it. So I ended up graduating. And after I graduated, uh, I started doing some off-Broadway work. I did a stint on All My Children and Soap Opera. Mm -hmm. I did a 501 Levi's Jeans commercial, and it was only popping after that. Right. That's when it just took off, went crazy. Yeah. A couple of, couple of Broadway plays, by the grace of God, 
and uh, they saw my work on one of the Broadway plays we were, I was in, and invited me to California to audition for a film. Mm. And that was uh, that was a project titled Wildcats. Yeah, I think that was Wildcats. Yeah. Oh, so with the movie Blade, right? You essentially just like paved the way for. You Marvel. skipped a whole ten. You it's been like two generations. <laughs> <laughs> Decades. I know everyone wants to just know because it's like, you know, you really just pioneered what a successful superhero movie looks like, especially when you have like a trilogy of it, you know, and people mm -hmm. come back to see it and see it. So are you surprised to see how big just the Marvel Cinematic Universe has become and just like how successful all this franchise has been? Oh, surprised and also appreciative. I mean, it's, 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 it's an amazing template of what can be done with art, yeah. with content, and with create, you know, projects and properties that have been created decades before the people who are running Marvel even were born. Mm -hmm. You know, actually some of those, some of the, the key people behind Marvel also are performing arts high school alumni. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of the, the, the top executives and some of the cats who were in stage management. Mm -hmm. Stage management programs now running Marvel, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was a, uh, it was quite uh, impressive, you know, to see what they what what they've done, and uh, we look forward to seeing what they do in the future. For sure. Yeah, but the real, the real, the real, most people that I was working with at the time didn't. And I've told this story many times. Uh, uh, they didn't support the idea of me playing Blade because they thought I was a dramatic actor and I should stick to the dramatic work. Yeah. I got some recognition for that. And it was beneath me. It was beneath the, the craft. But I remember, I remember Shaft. I remember the great Shakespearean actor uh, who played, play, uh, played Blackula. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought, man, you know, you get to do a Shaft thing. You get to, get to do a William Marshall thing because William Marshall was a Shakespearean actor. I'm a Shakespearean actor. Okay. We can do the play, and then we can throw martial arts in it. Oh, sucky, sucky, baby, let's go. <laughs> Nobody, but the rest of my crew was not, uh, they were not supportive at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought that I could bring something to it, at least that would be exciting and entertaining for the hood and for the martial arts community that I grew up in. Absolutely. And then it just took off and just became a thing now. And for me personally, I just can't imagine a blade that's not you. Like, it's like, it, you know, it was just hard to see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so with that said, like, would you ever reprise a role as Blade or just, you know, if they were to come back and remake it to fit into like the MCU, like, would you ever want to be a part of it? And I'm, al I'm always, hey man, you know, I'm always open to the possibility. You never know what's going to come around the corner with this, right. and this magical art form, this, mag this crazy business, magical art form, crazy business. Right. Uh, so I never say never, you know, uh, I think we will create some work that will rival what I've done in the past. We got some great characters and I think we even better than we were when we first started the, 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 the Blade, when we produced the, the Blade projects. Right. Was it two different like, studios at the time? No, it was the same studio, yeah. but different regimes. Gotcha. Yeah, the first one, uh, this two and three had a different regime than the First one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then I know you love the martial arts, but you have two black belts, right? I'm 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 ranked in uh I'm, I'm belted in one, two, three, four, five different five different systems. Mm. Yeah. I'm uh, ranked in both the African systems, the Chinese systems, the Japanese systems, mm. and the Indonesian systems. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, I can I'll probably <laughs> I don't want no problem. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no smoke, baby. Don't worry, about it, baby. Ain't no smoke. We just want to train, man. We just want to understand God through our hands, through our foot. Sometimes we might have to put some some lightning on them, you know, some right. key. On them. <laughs> no, but you know the beauty of it is that my my real aspiration, even in performing arts, was to be with the dance department. I I was more attracted to dancing and you know, being a song and dance man. Yeah. Uh, anything. And uh, it just so happens that you know, having been trained in the martial arts and being pretty good at it, I'm able to bring that 
uh, mobility and flexibility, that timing, that kind of energy to films uh, in in place of my ability right. to perform and dance and mm -hmm. to be a part and of Plus how graceful the movements are too, you know, and just kind of intertwine, just makes sense with when it comes to martial arts. Yes, yes. And that's, that, that comes from that, you know, everything from the street dance, right. also, to, you know, doing some modern dance and some African dance. Actually, you know, where the dojo for Kashinda Lamar is now is not far from the YMCA. Yeah. And the YMCA back in 1975, 76, oh man, 73, 4, 5, 76, mm -hmm. they taught uh, martial arts and La Rock Bay, the great La Rock Bay, had his dance troupe based there. Mm. So we would actually get martial arts training before lunch and then after the martial arts training we could go to african dance class right or sometimes on the weekends it would we would flip flop so for me it was, it's it's kind of always been there the dance and the martial arts they are the martial arts is the dance to me right so then just speak to how important just martial arts has been in your life in general because it sounds like it's just been like such oh, a integral part in it as, as far as it comes to like roles and just your own like just self-being you know <laughs> it kept me being trained in the martial arts and having some discipline and 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 fear of my teachers and what they would say kept me out of it kept me from doing a lot of things bro mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a whole lot of things i was like ah, i'm in oh and someone was like no 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 <laughs> it's not gonna work you shouldn't do that <laughs> the martial arts has been 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 oh man it's been like my blood and my soul, mm -hmm. you know, besides the performing arts. You know, everything that I put into it is giving me back that and more. And definitely kept me focused on something greater than just the performing, just the accolades that come with being successful as a performer. You know, in the arts, it teaches you they to focus on your mind, how much control you have over your mind, yeah. how much control and connection you have with your emotions. Uh, can you do what you say that you're going to do? Can you complete it and fulfill it? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what other qualities can you develop now that your body is in tune and your limbs are listening to the brain and the brain is telling your body to do? Yeah. Can you sing? Can you dance? Can you draw? Can you, you know, what about calligraphy? Yeah. All of these things were inspired by the training in the martial arts. And, you know, and also being able to, you know, the whole, the whole your own. When necessary. Most necessary. Right. <laughs> so I don't want no smoke. So I, you know. No smoke, baby. No smoke, baby. No smoke, baby. <laughs> cool. So lastly, you know, New Breed Life Arts in New York City. Tell me about it and the work they've been doing. Been that phenomenal. Well, I'm a product of that. I mean, I mean, Shin and I go back to 1980, maybe 1981. He may even know me even before then. Uh, while I was up at, for purchase, I would come down to the city with one of my great friends, a beautiful brother, another martial arts uh, master by the name of Marcus Salgado. And we would go to the Grandmasters, we'd go to Musa, uh, Moses Powell, and, 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 and oh man, um, Brother Anthony, and all of these cats that would share some knowledge, share some skills, share some insights on how to deal with even being immersed in an environment like I was up at Purchase. Weren't a lot of brothers up there. Weren't a lot of brothers that were in the arts up there. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was, it was a, some, some ways a culture shock. And you know, you try to find where you fit in. Martial arts was there for me. New Brickashe de Lamar and then and the dojos down there at 135th Street. The blocks, one of the blocks. Mm -hmm. Wonderful for me, man. And you know, I bring that to my work. I don't, I don't uh, um, exclude those experiences from the characters and the character work that I do. Because right. I know it's familiar to people. I know there's people like to see uh, references from their community. Right. They like to see that's themselves. Right. Like, oh, that's mm -hmm. over here, yeah. Exactly. Little, little hand gestures or little movements, or, you know. So these are all of the things that, uh, that inspired me, and I'm a product of that. And they're still doing that kind of work and greater work to come. For sure. 
you know, us at JD Sports and Finish Line, you know, the whole purpose of community voices to elevate voices like yours and support the community that, you know, we serve and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So with that, we want to make a donation to New Breed Life in New York as well. And I know it means a lot to you and oh, yeah, see the work they've been doing and to produce such a talent like yourself. So hopefully with like these dollars, they can continue doing the same work that you're passionate about, you know, and just seeing how important martial arts has been in your life. And I'm sure that'll trickle down to the other kids who are participating in their programs as well. So yes, well, I'm been, I'm been, man, I share, I share, I mean, I share. Yeah. That's wonderful, wonderful. And we hope that there are others out there who are inspired by your work and will want to match these kind of donations or match the attention and the commitment to these people who are trying to preserve our culture and trying to elevate the consciousness and the caring of the young people in our community. Absolutely. Hope so. So yeah, that's a wrap. You know, Wes, thank you so much, man. It's been a Pleasure. great so, conversation. Thank you. I learned a lot just about martial arts and myself. So it's been beautiful. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent. Blessings to you, blessings to all of the team, and keep moving forward. Forward ever, backward never. What part of Bronx you from? I'm from the Boogie Down. Boogie Down. Right, I'm from, uh, man, I'm from Tremont. I'm from University. I'm from Sexton. I'm from 233rd. I'm from, well, I live most of the time at 169th, 167th in Boston Road. But I've been on Washington Avenue, Nelson Avenue, Tremont Avenue. Mama moved around, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Russ. It's a blessing, blessing. More to life, better life. Elevation.